Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to solve the equation that we are seeing here. In this equation, we have 4 times x to the power of 4 minus 25 x cubed plus 18 x squared equals 5 times 1 plus radical 1 plus x cubed. We are going to find all possible x values belonging to real numbers and we are going to see how to tackle this challenging problem. Let's see how we are going to solve it now. To solve this problem, we have a lot of things to consider. On the left hand side, the degree of the polynomial that we have is 4 and on the right hand side, we don't have a polynomial. We have radical 1 plus x to the power of 3. I'm going to first multiply the 5 that I have on the right hand side by both terms that I have inside this parenthesis. So at the end I have 5 plus 5 radical 1 plus x cubed. Now if you focus on what we have here you can see that it's better to start to replace some of these variables that we have here. I'm going to do that but the way that I'm going to do is I have 5 times radical 1 plus x cubed. I'm going to use y for that. The reason that I'm going to do that is I have this negative 25 x to the power of 3. And when you look at the new variable that we defined, you can see that basically I can create this negative 25 x to the power of 3 by just taking power of 2 of the new variable that I defined. If we do this, we are going to end up with y squared negative 25 equals to 25 x to the power of 3. Now, the natural next step is to just replace what we have and we are going to take it from here. Okay, so let's replace negative 25 x cubed with y squared minus 25. If we do this, then on the left hand side, I'm going to have two new variables. I have x and y, which is not something that I would like to have. On the right hand side, I only have y. So let's start moving everything for x to the left hand side and everything with y to the right hand side. If I do this, I'm going to have 4x to the power of 4 plus 20 plus 18x squared equal to y squared plus y. Now let's take a look at what we have here. Obviously on the left hand side it's like more complicated so let's focus on the right hand side for now. On the right hand side I have this y squared plus y. We can replace it with y plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2 and then we need to reduce this 1 over 4 to have exactly what we have. This is easy. Now let's focus on the left hand side. I'm going to do the same approach. I have this 4x to the power of 4 that tells me I need to start with 2x to the power of 2 because if I take power of 2 I'm going to end up with what I need. Now more than that I have this 18 times x squared which is something that I need to generate. To do this if I use the a plus b to the power of 2 identity then you are going to see that I need to have this 9 over 2 to be able to create this 18 x squared. That's not difficult to understand. So if we do this then you are going to end up with 2 x to the power of 2 plus 9 over 2 to the power of 2. Now if you compare what I created and what I had you can see that I have one extra 1 over 4 which basically means that I need to decrease that. Now let's take a look at the final outcome. I have an expression to the power of 2 minus 1 over 4 and I also have another expression to the power of 2 minus 1 over 4. Obviously I can remove this 1 over 4 and see how we are going to continue with that. By removing 1 over 4, I'm going to end up with two expressions. Both of them are power of 2. 
Now let's see how we are going to deal with this. First of all, remember I defined y as 5 times radical 1 plus x cubed. Obviously, y is going to be a positive number. Now let's go back to see what we can do with the expression that we have here. If we want to remove power of 2 from both sides, in normal cases, I'm going to have plus minus. But here, because y is positive, y plus 1 over 2 is going to be positive. So the left hand side needs to be positive. We already know that x squared plus 9 over 2 is basically positive. So I'm not going to be able to have this plus minus here because I need to have positive values for the values that I have here. Now let's continue. First of all, I have this 2x squared plus 9 over 2 equals to 1 over 2 plus y. I am going to remove this 1 over 2 and then I will have y equals to 2x squared plus 4. That's the first equation that I have here. The second equation is the equation that I can get from the definition of y. Remember we defined y as 5 times radical 1 plus x cubed. If we take power of 2 of this expression, we are going to see that 25 times x cubed plus 25 is y squared. Now I have y in the previous equation. I'm going to replace that in the second equation. So I will have 25x cubed plus 25 equals to 2x squared plus 4 to the power of 2. Now I have one equation with only x and I need to solve it. Now let's see how we are going to solve it. If you take power of 2 on the right hand side and then move everything to the left hand side and simplify, we are going to have this 4x to the power of 4 minus 25x cubed plus 16x squared minus 9 equals 0. Now solving this degree 4 equation is not going to be easy. If you focus on this equation, you can see that one option is to use the double cross approach. The double cross approach is basically tries to factor out this 4x to the power of 4 and this 9 that you have in this equation. I'm going to start with those. To factor out 4x to the power of 4, I can do different things, but one approach is to use x squared and 4x squared. On the other hand, for 9, one possible option is to use 3 and 3. Now, let's focus on what we are going to have if we use the double cross approach. First of all, we need to find all possible combination of multiplication of these terms. But first, remember we have this x squared and 3 for the first one and I added this ax because I don't know what x is going to be. But we know that we already have this x squared which is degree 2 and 3 which is degree 0 so I'm going to add this degree 1. I'm going to replicate what I said for the second one and add this b times x. Now let's focus on this cross things that I have here. So if you multiply x squared with bx, you are going to have this bx cube. Similarly, for multiplication of ax and 4x squared, you are going to have this 4ax cube. On the other hand, if you multiply the 3 by bx, you will have this 3bx. And then if you multiply 3 by ax, you are going to have 3ax. I think you are going to follow up what I have here, but the first thing that I need you to notice is I don't have any coefficient for x to the power of 1. That's trivial if you take a look at the equation, but what does it mean for us? 
it basically means that if I use this 3 and 3 for factoring 9, the value that I have for A and B needs to be equal. Since they need to compensate each other and they need to be with different signs. One of them needs to be positive and the other one needs to be negative. So by now, we have this idea that A and B are equal. Now let's go back to what I have for this x to the power of 3. I have this 4 times ax cubed and bx cubed. We know that a and b are equal, so if you add them together, you're going to have this 5 times a times x cubed, and the outcome should be 25, because we are not going to get this x cubed from any other multiplication. So a and b needs to be equal, and they need to be 5. Now we have a lot of understanding of what we are going to have. If you compute the other things, the other factor that we have here, you are going to end up with the final factorization of this degree 4 equation. If you do this, you can see that the factorization is going to be x minus 5x minus 3 and 4x squared minus 5x plus 3. And from here, we only have two quadratic equations and we can solve them. If you do this and then just remove the values that are not going to be real, then the outcome is going to be two possible values for x we will have 5 plus minus radical 37 over 2 and we solve the problem now. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the security channel. I hope to see you in the next.